Good morning. We're so glad you're here. I've had quite the productive morning. It's 10.20. I got up at 6, ran a bunch of stuff for work, uh, my weekend work stuff, finished Bob Iger's book, really good, and it's my five-year anniversary to my very, very best friend. Sarah is my entire world, and five years ago has and will always be the greatest day of my life. Obviously, I'll need to reaffirm that after my children are born. In my eyes, I would not have gotten to the date of my children's birth without this very important day five years ago. But I am running two quick and safe errands. I have to stop by the P.O. Box to hand off the to drop off this um, this agreement form. So it's just like run in, drop in a slip, head out, and then I need to go pick up what I think is going to be our last little bit of um, groceries for the week and some stuff for Eve before we bring her to our friends who's going to be watching her while we're gone in Chicago. So uh, productive day, morning start, everything. <laughs> Well, within 30 seconds of me coming back home, this is what I did. That's great. Alright, we just finished watching An American Pickle. Pretty good. Simple, sweet movie. It was different. A little artsy, a little comical. Very Seth Rogen-esque, but if you have HBO Max, highly suggest it. It's a quick hour and a half long movie. Hey, it's me, Sarah. And I think these two Chicagoans who did not hop on the last dance bandwagon a couple months ago because they don't have cable are gonna watch it on Netflix. Are we gonna watch it today? Yeah. Today? I got a run letter, but we can start watching now. Okay. That's exciting. Also, we just took an hour and a half nap and it was another Twilight Zone one. I feel like it's a different day. Also, this is what I got for myself immediately upon waking up. Um, Eve, we're supposed to go go cook dinner now. <laughs> but Sarah just said she can't get up with how comfy Eve is. She's been sitting like this for a while. Like 45 minutes. Yeah. She's loving it. Oh, she's sleepy. What? We're making breakfast for dinner. Yay! Mm. And Yay. Eve's gonna get peppers and Yay. she doesn't even know yet. Evie, do you want a treat? <gasps> Good. Come on. Come on. Oh, my name's Sarah. I'm part of the Brookhart Project. I'm bringing food vlogs to you now. Um, here's my potatoes. They're really potato-y. Here's um, my veggies. They're very vegetable-y. And here's my flour. I'm going to use it to make things you make flour with. I just cut my finger. Did you? Are you okay? Yeah. This is the world's best sous chef. Ah! She yells at you for motivation. She wants peppers. Sit. Crazy! Ooh, so fluffy. I'll put this recipe in the description. I think it's our favorite vegan pancake recipe, right? When we get it right, I like these. They're fine. Those look better than those. I think it's the heat. Peter got some sparkling cider for us to have. And these are actually our champagne flutes from our wedding. A little dipping station. Don't mind if I do. Look at that big Minnie Mouse pancake. Lots of food. This is, this is a girl's night. There's been a lot of side eye from you tonight. Where's Peter going? Is he going on a run? It's just you and me. I'm gonna put in a picture of Evie right here that I made her look like a cartoon. How many episodes have we watched of The Last Dance? Four or five? Four or five. I don't think I've seen the first two seasons of this. You have? We just didn't watch them together. It's like it wasn't like sit down. I put Schitt's Creek on after. I'm gonna go on a run. Eight miles. Hopefully it's done raining. Hopefully it's not super sticky out. Hopefully, before I know it, I'm in the backyard. <laughs> You're very hopeful. Yeah. 
We're back over on Orange and Colonial. About to turn around, head back home. I talked a lot, I think yesterday or two days ago about running, getting back into and everything, but I wanna to emphasize today is to run your own run. You know, like I said, it doesn't matter if you're running half a block or just five minutes walking compared to me saying I'm going on my eight mile run today compared to somebody saying like their longest run they could imagine is three miles. Everyone's run is their run. I'll put, I'll tell Sarah, I'm gonna give Sarah the link to a three minute video by one of my, one of my favorite runner, running vloggers, Kofuzi. He made a video about the Chicago Marathon last year and there's a line there that says, we all run the same marathon on the same day at the same time. So it doesn't matter if you finish in two hours or seven hours. Everyone, no matter their level, is running the same roads. And I think that's so telling and just running in general because everyone's journey is different. So just go out there and do your walk, do your run, do your wheel, whatever it is, and enjoy it. But I'm looking forward to Chicago runs because even though it's like 80, 85 there, it's like Sarah looked it up, it's like 40% humidity or something like that. And I'm rocking 78 degrees right now with like 85, close to 90% humidity at 11, 20 at night. But it feels good. It's gonna make Chicago runs even more smoothly and more enjoyable. So me and some other running friends down here in Florida call it uh, our altitude training because you go through crazy conditions when you run at high altitudes, like out west. But it's a whole different level of body conditioning, running in this kind of humidity and thick air for these distances. Anyway, clearly I've talked way too long to give myself a long break. I gotta go home. Alrighty, August 8th. You can preach a better sermon with your life than with your lips. Oliver Goldsmith. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, Spee, what a superb idea I've just had. Tomorrow I'll make Pan's brats love me. Who wants some before bed Oreo? Sarah does. Hey, everybody, it's me. I'm still in the vlog. Hold on, I gotta go get this cider. You gonna dip your Oreo in your cider? Mm -hmm. No, I just said it. For anybody who's looking for running advice or sporting advice, this is my gel brand. My buddy Steve introduced me to it. Um, now this I eat. Buddy it. Steve, ever heard of him? I need to get more of this stuff though. It's a little bit pricier because it's from somewhere in Europe, Switzerland or something. Denmark maybe. Um, my heartburn is kicking. But it's really good. Like it's easy on the stomach. Weird consistency, like a firm Jello but it's easy on the stomach when you're running. So I just used, I think, my last caffeinated hunter pack. So I need to get some more probably tonight. But my run went well. Tonight? <laughs> I'm tired. Um, it was a strange five year anniversary, if I'm being honest, but it was a good day. Yeah, it was good. And we celebrated. Yeah, it was like a ex long extended anniversary special. Yeah, and I almost feel like it continues to be extended with, um, our little Airbnb in Nashville. So yes. kind of like. I want to wait till tomorrow to show you in detail, but my tattoo is Almost. healing up pretty good. One of the stars, I feel like, the tattoo artist like went like she missed one of the points the first go around, and so I was like she like knew when she was done with part of it she'd have to go back and do that one point, and I think she was like going over one of the stars extra. And I was like that's not the star. With the different points, like, oh, oh yeah, it's that one. <laughs> so that's the one that she went over like twice that has like a, a more, more, of a, more of a healing to do. And I'm like, because she got me good with the needle on that one. But over, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with how it's looking and how it's healing. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Happy anniversary. Happy I anniversary. love you.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.